we can get um, filter paper, we always filter the fragrance. There are one or two which you don't filter because there's absolutely no need because they're always completely clear. Mm -hmm. But you get sediment in the perfumes that have got naturals in and sometimes they are make them cloudy or they've got bits in and uh, we don't want them to jam up the pumps and we don't want people thinking that can't be right. So uh, we generally get Watman paper. Oh, it's from Little Chalfont. I remember you had a perfume once, it might have been good by Piccadilly. Yeah. Um, years ago in the old in the old studio. Yeah. That was just well, it just kept being a snow globe. It did keep being a snow globe, but we'd filter it and it would turn back into a snow globe. Yeah. It was to do with the volume of vanillin, something yeah. else. So we fixed that by using ethyl vanillin instead. There we go. Because filtering it actually sort of didn't help. It the the vanilla kept just dropping out of solution if it got cold. Yeah. Right. And of course it always got cold. But Say, something like patchouli tends to be a bit gritty. Mm -hmm. um, it'll have bits in. So, uh, you know, the cocoa absolute is basically just chunks of sticky brown stuff. So we need to catch that stuff before it goes into the bottles. So filter paper, yeah. Not coffee paper. People use coffee filters. It's just not thick enough, not strong enough. It'll never work. No. The holes are too big in it. Yeah. You can't see what they are. These mm -hmm. are this is proper scientific stuff. So these are expensive. These, which are already folded, are humongously massively expensive. But the thing about those is you put them into the funnel and you've got all the surface to do the filtering with. Yeah, so, it stops it being flush against the funnel. Yeah. Yeah, the, so the folded one's great. And we once managed to get, as a bargain, two boxes of these off the old eBay. Trouble is, I told everyone that I get my filters off eBay. And now people get there first. But these were running out. But these are, you know, they're like five pounds each. Wow. Per filter, not, not per box. So, <gasps> wow. I know, and delicious. is there a, is there a, is there a, is there a sort of grade of yeah. filter? Like what what density is it? Or yeah, there are, and I can never remember exactly which is which. They they they're explained. If I get cause I get some vintage stuff as well turns up, um, which I use for doing little tests on, and I think it has uh, on the box. I think it tells you which grade you should be using because it's not I'm not supposed to. Do Okay. No, it just says that one's number 40 for all crystalline precipitates. Precipitates? Yeah, that's the right word. Um, yeah, that's number 41. Genuinely don't know what the difference is, but they are written down. You can look it up. But we tend to find that... I, I, I go with number one, mostly. That seems to take everything out that I need taking out. Okay. Anything visible. Mm -hmm. So, uh, here's my thing. So you can just take the fat ones, less expensive, still expensive. So some people just go, okay, good. Some people just, just fold them like that and and do that. Whoops. Yes. Which is okay, except what you've got is one there and three there. So it's, and they sit, sit against the side of the funnel and it takes longer. If you want equal surface and for it to go through faster here is what I do okay fold it twice okay. yeah then you doesn't really matter which direction you can fold it oh, I'll do it lift it up you just start Concertinaing it. Concertinaing it. That puts it forward so it goes to the centre. Like you're making lots of little pies. And then the other side. And 
no kidding what happens is that nobody can tell if these came from me mm -hmm. or the machine that makes them so uh, that and that is if if you're ever getting to the point where the world is going yeah just sit and fold some filter papers sit and fold some filter papers well there you go it's not bad it's not bad for the first try well that's Maybe not the one. first try is it is it not have you done them before uh sarah i've been working here for a long old time you know i know but i thought there was only me who was actually no I'm I was about used. to say daft enough to fold up the filter papers. No, I'm just doing that one. There we go. Uh, yeah. My Uncle Such John gave me my first small. origami book when I was 11. What would that... I mean, that is a, that is a very small filter paper, isn't it? Yeah, for very small amounts of perfume. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.